In today's video, I will teach you how to change the paintbrush color in GIMP. Let's get started. Changing the paintbrush color in GIMP is incredibly easy. You'll be working with the foreground color frequently with a paintbrush and bucket fill tools. And it's pretty simple once you understand how everything works. The toolbox panel, which is by default positioned on the left side of the GIMP interface, serves as a primary hub for all your GIMP tools. If the toolbox panel is not visible in the editor, you can simply open the Windows menu and click Toolbox, or simply press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl B. Once the toolbox is visible, you will find the foreground color below every colors. You can change the foreground color once you open the editor and even before uploading your image or making a blank canvas. You can simply hover over the color to figure out which one is the foreground color in the active background layer. And you can change them accordingly. Now, switch to the paintbrush tool by simply going to the toolbar, select the paintbrush tool, or simply press the shortcut key P on your keyboard for a quick tool switch. Now, to change the paintbrush color, simply click the foreground color. In the Change Foreground Color dialog box, you will see a very detailed set of parameters that you can adjust in order to find the exact color that you're looking for. There are also different color palettes and spectrums to choose from. Let's start with the default spectrum. Here, you can simply click and drag on the color spectrum to find the exact color that you're looking for. You will also see the different color channels change as you pick a different color. With these values, the HTML notation will also change. There is also a color picker option that lets you pick the exact color that was used from an image or a graphics element and even the color palette of GIMP's editor as well. If you prefer to pick a color based on the CMYK color spectrum, you can switch to the CMYK tab. Here, instead of the color spectrum, you can individually adjust the cyan, magenta, yellow, and key or black, and you can also switch to the water color spectrum to further customize your color. Same thing with the color wheel, which allows you to pick a color based on the color wheel and allows you to customize the brightness and darkness of the specific color that you picked. Every color that you've identified and used will be in the color palette tab. Once you've found the perfect color for your design, you can now click OK and try out the new color on your canvas. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.